may I remind you that you have only gained temporary respite by eliminating the synapse booster. The tyrannies are still unorganized, but soon another organism will replace the original synapse booster. I have no time to lose them. I must locate that Eodari shrine immediately. Crystal, which has survived in the Sternlakers, a remarkable technological phenomenon.
last act in this grand tragedy will soon unfold, human. Are you willing to take the stage? I must warn you that to manipulate an Inquisitor is not the brightest idea, Eldar. Always so furious. So short-sighted. I am not your weak-willed subordinate. Insolence. You have clearly betrayed me. This stone once absorbed the soul of a seer, the greatest pathfinder in the garden of ever-changing roads. I need it. We need it to walk the seventh path. This is the first curio of fate I need. to cooperate. On one condition. What would that be? You really, really need to survive your next battle. I've promised you answers, human. So, you will have your answers. Did you leave me here on purpose? I might have manipulated you to help me take the spirit stone from this scorched pit of despair our planet has become. Yes. Did you lie about everything? The prophecy? The Alpha Pariah? I cannot lie. My role forbids it. Your Inquisitor brother knows that. That's why you were sent here. Clever, clever Mercer. I weave my words too carefully for lies. Enough of this. 
Do you know the answer to my question or not? There is a place deep within the maze that spreads between the real space and the warp. And in the heart of that living, twisting labyrinth lies the Black Library. You are stalling again. I'm losing patience with you, Eldar. The library is a repository of forbidden knowledge, a vast collection of books still unwritten or lost forever. And I stole the prophecy from its darkest vaults. You had it the entire time. I told you I didn't lie. Take the prophecy. It is yours. This ranks as a highly improbable scenario yet with the optimal outcome. What do you make of this ancient prophecy, Marcos? The tech priest considers it pure Xenox nonsense. My opinion is more nuanced, but I can't see any practical use for it either. You are being too harsh. The prophecy alludes to certain fact that we know are valid. You are willing, then, to accept the existence of a million-year-old artifact created by a race long extinct that somehow had knowledge of the birth of beings like her. Uther's research was based on ancient fabricators' technology, the existence of the Alpha Pariah could easily be the result of this prophecy. In that case, the Pariah needs the artifact to control her powers and fulfill her true potential. Otherwise, she presents a grave danger to everyone. destination for me. I must find an unknown artifact created by a long extinct race. The chances are minuscule. I have scaled the available inquisitorial archives and classified data troves. Nothing. I might be of some help. Luckily, we have an acquaintance who knows his way around the system. Who would that be? A rogue trader captain who once helped out in an investigation related to my family. This captain, one Nathaniel Grexus, made a fortune as a trader in Xenos relics. He abandoned that particular career a while ago, but he must have kept his contacts. A sound idea. Do you have any information on his whereabouts? We exchanged messages only recently. He was on his way to the mining world Arcadus. Then set course for that planet. We must find that Grexus. <laughs> <laughs> 